If you're new to the channel, welcome along. Please take a minute after you've viewed the video to like the video. Feel free to share it if you'd like to. But more importantly, if you've got any comments or questions, then please do ask away. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Just comment below the video, that'll be fantastic. And it, it seems to be that uh, some of my videos are being uh, liked by the people who view them. So that's fantastic. In this video, a couple of days ago, to give you some context, I put up a poll on Instagram, on my Instagram account for my followers, and asked where they would like me to see photograph, me photographing in the Lake District. They chose cat bells, but unfortunately, having thought about it, and having looked at the weather, and thinking about the location and how busy it gets, I chose not to go to cat bells in the end. The weather forecast for the day was way, wrong it, it wasn't accurate at all but as a landscape photographer you need to put up with what you've got really and just go with it which is what i did um what i would say is when i did go to the first uh, fell that you're going to see in the video it was extremely hot and what i would say is if you haven't already got one top tip is buy one of these camelback things with, with, with the uh the tube for the water it holds around about two and a half liters and honestly, it's a lifesaver. You do not want to be going down with heat exhaustion or anything like this, particularly when it's over 20 odd degree, depending on which country you're living in. Um, you, you do need to really get that water on board. And it, it was a godsend when I went into the Lake District. It really, really was. I'm so glad that I bought it. And you'd be surprised to know I didn't get it off eBay. I bought it off Amazon. But anyway. Right, so what I also mention in the video is I, I talk a little bit about uh, lens flare. Lens flare is when stray rays of light, maybe that sunlight, it could be a street light for example, it gets inside the uh, barrel of the lens, the, the light bounces around and consequently it leaves small circles on, on your print when, when you go to, to print or indeed view the image. So that's what lens flare is. I apologize that, that maybe I didn't explain that very well in the video that you're gonna see, but I thought I would mention that as well, okay? Uh, I suppose the last thing to say is thank you again for everybody who subscribed, as I've said, and I do hope you like this video and hold on till the very end, wait until the very end, because you will see some slides of the, the, the pictures that I think or the best ones from the day. So please do bear with the video if you can till the end. And that's it, I suppose. Let's let's go get on with it. Here I am at my first location, Galborough Fell. Well, actually I'm parked at Air Force Car Park, which is a National Trust car park here in the Lake District. Just up the road from uh, Old Water, and what I want to do is I want to pack my kit, go up to Galborough Fell, and get um, a couple of shots across, looking across Old Water. Uh, I've took a couple of shots before. I've never been up this fell, so it should be quite interesting. So what I want to do is I want to finish off my tea, and then <laughs> and then head up the fell. Uh, let's go make some pictures.
So we are shortly before five in the morning. As you can see, I've got a bit of a dab on. Uh, it is so warm today, uh, but not to worry, I'd be complaining if it was cold and wet, I suppose. But um, I'm probably about another 15 minutes to Galborough Fell. And uh, yeah, going quite well so far. I think one thing I love about the Lake District compared to places like Scotland and things like that, the pathways and everything and the access to things you want to photograph for landscape photography, uh, in my opinion, is way better in the Lake District than what it is in Scotland. Just my opinion, of course, but just the tracks and stuff like that, and you can get really close to what you want to photograph, like I say. So, onwards and upwards. Ooh, nearly there, nearly to the top. What a slog. Hey, I suppose it doesn't help that I'm carrying 40 odd pounds worth of camera kit. Ooh, look at that view. Simply the best. <laughs> wow. Goodness me, there's a trig point. Can you see it? <laughs> Wow. There's a trick point in the far distance. Goodness me, seems like it's took forever to get up here. Goodness me. Goodness me. Well, that was a bit of a hike, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, I brought a spare tripod as well for uh, my video camera. I'm kind of regretting it now. <laughs> oh, man. That was a climb and a half, that was. I'm absolutely soaked. <sighs> anyway, what I need to do is set up the camera, get a few shots up here. Maybe get the drone up. Um, and see how we'll go with that but yeah you can see for miles up here that's for sure I mean four miles I can see like cloud in the uh, far distance like in the, in the mist in the and like the valleys and stuff incredible view and I can see uh, Ulls water as well but yeah you, you can actually see for miles and miles up here the, the, the view is quite stunning uh, it's you know it's hard and unless you're here to, to appreciate it but Believe me, it's absolutely amazing. So like I say, I want to um, set up my camera, get a couple of shots looking towards uh, the top of, well, the north of, is it the north or the south? I, I don't know. But um, get a couple of shots at all the water. And like I say, maybe just get the drone up as well. Okay, let's do it. across the rock year after year passing through without a mark until the cracks appear it takes a long time but it goes by it's a long life but it goes by So I'm at the top of Galbarrow Fell. It's a stunning location. 
There's loads of heather everywhere. It's just a pity it's not in bloom at the moment. The sun is really strong, which is fantastic if you want blue skies, but that's not what I'm after. I like a bit of mood in the sky and a bit of cloud. Uh, having said that, it was worth the trek up here. The, the, the views are quite spectacular. Spectacular, I've done it again, haven't I? Spectacular, spectacular, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, yeah, the views are amazing. <laughs> uh, as you can see, all's water in, in, the, in the background there. I did get a couple of shots, had the drone up as well, which is good. So let's see what, what the, the footage comes out like. It has been worth the hike up here. It is a bit of a slog, particularly when you're carrying all the, the heavy kit. Um, I want to take a few more shots and then head back down and to um, and see where I go next. I might go to Derwent Water. I don't know. Let's just see. So in terms of my camera setup, I'm shooting on ISO 100, an aperture at f9, and a shutter speed of 400th of a second. Just a point to note, I always use a lens hood when the sun is blurring away, okay? It just stops light bouncing around inside the lens, and it stops, obviously, lens flare. So if you've got a lens hood, then I would advise that you use it, okay? It just saves you so much hassle in post-processing. So if you got it, use it. Say That's me packed up now. I can just hear a skylark up in the sky there. That's a really good sound of summer, isn't it? Um, that's one thing, you've got to stick to the paths up here. You don't want to be um, standing on birds' nests and their eggs. So I've just got to be careful when I'm up here in amongst all the heather because there's a lot of ground nests and birds up here. Right, so let's get out and get out of here. I'm heading down now. The path ahead is kind of contouring around the hill, which is really nice. Bit of a uh, more level path to walk on. Uh, I should be back to the car in about 20 minutes, I would have thought. As you can see, the sun's still <laughs> blaring. <laughs> Trust my luck, I tell you. Uh, I don't know. I think it might just have to be a waterfall, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh well, in mind. Well, I've stopped here to get a shot, um, which is over my shoulder. The views from here are simply sublime, honestly. <laughs> uh, like I say, I prefer to have a bit of cloud, but I think on this occasion, um, it doesn't really matter <laughs> when you've got a view like that. Incredible. Simply stunning. You gotta love Ulls Water, haven't you? <laughs> oh, what a place. I am absolutely sweating buckets. I must have lost about two stone. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I want to get a shot of this. I'll put it on screen for you once, once I've um, bagged this shot. But um, you can't go wrong, really. I think I might stick my polarizer on. F11, boom, boom. Bob's your uncle. Catch you in a bit. So I intended to stay up here for about an hour, 
but goodness me, I must have been up here for three hours now. Um, for those of you who voted for me to go up to Cap Bells on Instagram, well, I chose this place instead, unfortunately, because I was thinking about Cap Bells and how popular it is. Um, and to be honest, I'm glad I chose this place because I've seen, the whole time I've been here, I've only just seen two people. It's just incredible being here. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I still remember my, my very first time when I came to the Lake District. I was 11 years old and uh, we went to Coniston and uh, I fell in love with the place then and it's still it's still an absolutely stunning place the Lake District so lucky to have it just on my doorstep it's absolutely incredible um, so I've been taking a couple of, couple of shots of this view behind which again is absolutely spectacular uh, spectacular Spe yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying Just at this location, it's a waterfall. Um, it's you can probably both see it there in the background, but the sun is just way too strong. Um, it's just blown out all the highlights, as you can see. So that's a non-starter. So I suppose I best go to my next location. So I made it to the final location, the top of Home Fell, and um, the views up here are stunning. Um, just over there you can see uh, the Helvellyn range. To my left is uh, the Langdale Pikes. I'll swing around in a bit to show you. I'm just going to have some food. I'm starving. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just bear with us when I get something to eat. I've got a boiled egg. <laughs> feel like... Um, What's he called? Oliver Hardy? Not um, Oliver. Stan. Stan Laurel. <laughs> what was I needed a neck chief. Can I go wrong? Boiled egg. Can I go wrong? Cannot go wrong with a boiled egg. Um, so yeah, I'll switch you off for a minute while, while I eat this. I'm sure you don't want to watch me eating a boiled egg. <laughs> That's it a bit. So, round two, banana. I was just thinking, I don't know about you, when I was younger, you only had bananas in the house if somebody was ill. <laughs> on a bowl on the sideboard. Anyway. The Langdale Pikes are covered in um, clouds at the moment, but when, once it clears, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, in fact, whole fire. Clouds are clearing. I'll show you. Can you see it, the rock? 